Monday's vote against the bailout by the House of Representatives sent Wall Street into a freefall. Tonight, both Ohio Senators, George Voinovich and Sherrod Brown, voted to approve the revised $700 billion bailout. The Senate version includes some key changes being studied by House members. And I think by the end of this week, we could have not only a, a bill, but a much better bill for, uh, for the public and for taxpayers and for the market. Republican Pat Tiberi, who voted with the majority that defeated the bill, tells us it could pass if key changes remain, namely a provision increasing the amount of deposits protected by the FDIC from $100,000 up to $250,000. Also now included, a complex accounting system known as Mark to Market. Tiberi says it will help infuse money into the cash-strapped banking system, easing credit for consumers and businesses. Supporters say the bailout should pay for itself. How? The concept is many of the home loans being absorbed by the government at bargain prices will eventually rise in value. They'll be sold at a profit with the money coming back to Uncle Sam. Not everyone is so sure. These protesters took another view during afternoon rush hour, urging folks to call their lawmakers. It's a bad idea for the taxpayers to uh, run, you know, take the risk uh, that these of these bad loans and this debt on. Um, in the end, I think the taxpayers are going to still pay. Both of our senators issued statements regarding their votes in favor of the plan. Republican George Voinovich said doing nothing is simply not an option. Democrat Sherrod Brown said Ohio's middle class will pay even more for Wall Street's greed if the plan is not approved. Now the question is whether some of those House members who were against the earlier version will change their votes. Supporters only need 12 more representatives to vote yes for the revised bailout to be approved. In central Ohio, two representatives voted no. Pat Tiberi, who you saw earlier, and Gene Smith, both say they're carefully considering the revised plan.